Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So after starting our YouTube channel last month, obviously we had lots of questions where we were reaching out to people across the internet and to different creators about how to solve some of the technical problems we were having with content creation. And surprisingly, we got more questions about our setup than we actually got answers. And so I figured I would go through some of the uh, unique situations with our setup and then kind of explain how we have workarounds to get things to work the way that we do. And I am a man of modest means, so I don't really have the funds just laying around to go grab a 4090 just because. So if we're going to do this, we need to do it in the most price efficient way, which means buying as much GPU power as possible from the used market. But hey, this is the Aperture Media Group. So of course we're gonna figure out how to do things in a way where we have an excessive display of power. So what we have here is a NVIDIA T40. It's basically the equivalent of a RTX Titan. And I bought it off of eBay for roughly around $500. If you have one of these T40s, no doubt you have had difficulties using it in Windows. It's recognized by the BIOS, it is not recognized by Windows, and it is not recognized by NVIDIA drivers but I have used it to render my last seven videos. So we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna explain how you can make this GPU actually usable. All right guys, so let's get into it. So as you can see from the task manager, I have my T40 installed um, and it is actually driving the primary display to this device. Now a little bit of background, our T40 is installed in a Dell R720 that is running headless and what you are seeing is being captured from a MacBook Pro that is simply just being used to interact with the device. And so the first step that you'll actually need to take in order to get the T40 installed is to wipe out all of your NVIDIA drivers. So head over to Guru3D and download the newest version of DDU, um, do a full uninstall and then restart and then come back to this video. All right, so now that we've DDU'd and removed all of our NVIDIA drivers, what we need to do next is download this program from Tech Power Up called NV Clean Install. And then this is going to help us to modify a driver in order to get it to work with the T40. And then the second thing that you're gonna need is the NVIDIA grid drivers. I used a whole bunch of different drivers to try to get this to work. Um, the grid one is the only one that I saw that was actually fruitful in any way. Now, where do you get the grid driver from? Um, I'm not gonna tell you that. I can't really disclose what the name of the driver is or where it comes from, because um, I'm not trying to get into any trouble with NVIDIA. But I'm sure the astute of you can figure out a few things to Google or maybe perhaps look on Reddit to find where this driver may or may not come from. And then once you have both of those things downloaded, what you'll do is simply just open NV Clean Install it's going to ask for administrator privileges, which will grant it. And then we're presented with this very first page. As you can see here, I already have my T40 installed. And so you'll go browse, find the driver, decide if you wanna check for automatic updates, and then move on. Then on this page, you can decide if you want Visual Studio and Quadro View. Um, that's really up to you. And then it's gonna unpack the installer. And this takes, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. All right, guys, so we are almost there. So on this page, this is where all the magic happens. All right, so what we'll do next is we will click Add Hardware Support. Now, in this template box, what we want to do is select the GPU that is most similar to our GPU, the NVIDIA T40, and one that has the features that we want. So for my use case, the device that I wanted to have the features of was the RTX 6000. So what we will have to do in order to get that is either use the drop down and search for it, or what we can do is type in 6000-24 and then Q. And then we will select the grid driver. Now for the second box, we need to put the PCI ID of our GPU into this box because that is what NV Clean Install is going to add to the driver. That's how we're gonna get hardware support. Now what you can do is if it says on the side, install device 1E38, you can just click that and it will actually just fill in this box for you and that makes life easier. 
The first time that I installed the driver, it did not do that for me. So I'm going to show you how to find that PCI ID. So to get that PCI device ID, what you will do is you'll open up Device Manager and you're gonna look for your T40. Um, it's more than likely going to be listed as an unrecognized device, but this still works either way. So once you find your T40, you'll just double click on it and then you'll go to details and then you need to switch to hardware ID. Now, when looking at your PCI device ID 10DE, that represents NVIDIA. What we want is the specific GPU device ID, and that is that this number that is 1E38. And that should be the same for all T40s, but just in case it's not, this is how you will find it, or just in case you wanna use this guide to install drivers for any other GPU, this is how you will find it. So now that we're back on NV Clean Install, we make sure that it says 1E38. And then in this box, we wanna give our device a name and you can really name it anything that you want. And then your final optional step is to check this box that says make it compatible with anti-cheat. If you are planning to use this GPU at all for game streaming, um, it'd be really important to do that because some games won't launch after you have modified the driver. This second box that says automatically accept the unsigned driver warning, I have not been able to get that to work for me. It's not that big of a deal when you're installing, it will just ask you to accept it and you say yes. So your next step is you just click next. So it's gonna think for a minute, it's gonna build the driver and then it'll come to this page. Now from this point, you can decide if you want to install it directly from NV Clean Install or if you want to build an EXE. So I personally like the build an EXE option because just in case I need to reinstall my operating system or something happens where I need to reinstall the driver, it's a whole lot easier than having to go through that whole routine just to get back to this point. So it can save you some time. And then once you go to launch your EXE, it's going to ask for administrator privileges, which will grant it again. We'll say yes. Takes a minute to extract the uh, driver files. And as you can see up in the corner, MV Clean Install is actually running in the background monitoring the install. And as you can see, typically this is where we get to the point where it tells us that our GPU is not supported. So you can go all the way through the install. I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to complete this. And then after that, you have a functional T40 installed. All right, so we now have our T40 installed. And so now let's talk about some tweaks that we can make to make this device a bit more usable for content creation. So the first set of tweaks that I make are actually in the registry. Um, no, I'm not gonna destroy your operating system. I've made these tweaks, undid them. Nothing has really messed with system stability, so we're perfectly fine here. So all you'll need to do is open a registry editor window. Of course, we need administrator access. And then once the registry editor is open, we are going to go to computer, H key, local machine, system, control set 01, control, class, and then we are going to select 4D36E968. You'll have to pick through all those options to figure out which one of those GPUs is your T40. Um, the changes I make here are fairly simple. Now you probably noticed that when you installed your T40, it also installed a 720p virtual display. So by changing these two settings here, it actually removes that virtual display and it tells the driver to look for another display to output to. All right, so now that we've navigated to this location in the registry editor, we're gonna modify three different things here. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna do the feature score. We're gonna turn this from CF to D1. Basically what this is doing is it is unlocking the grid features for our device. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to grid licensed features and we're gonna turn this into a seven. And then the third modification that we need to do is we actually need to create a new registry key. So we'll go right click new and then D word 32 bit value. The registry key that you're creating is called enable MS hybrid and you're gonna give it a value of one. So the whole reason behind doing this is basically this registry key is telling Windows that there are two GPUs in the device. And Windows is looking at this device almost as if it's a laptop. 
So what happens in laptops is you have your GPU inside the CPU and then your discrete AMD or NVIDIA GPU. And the way that Windows does hardware switching is that the game or whatever is rendered on the discrete GPU and then it is copied over to the embedded GPU that is in the CPU. By adding this registry key, we are tricking Windows into handling RT40 in the same way. So we've deleted our virtual displays, and now we're gonna tell Windows that this is our high-performance GPU that needs to be passed on top of other GPUs. All right, now that we've made the registry changes, our next steps are actually pretty easy. What we will do is we will go into settings, and then we're going to go to system, display, graphics, and then default graphics settings. And then what we want to do is make the T40 our default high-performance GPU, and then it should automatically start working. So then anything that Windows determines is a high performance graphic situation will automatically be rendered by the T40 and then copied back to our display GPU. Now, if you're having issues with Windows determining which one of these GPUs is your low performance GPU, um, you can go back to the registry editor, go to your dedicated display driver or whichever GPU the monitor is plugged into, You'll create that registry key again, and enable MS Hybrid, and then you will set the value to two. What that is doing is telling Windows, hey, this is my weak sauce GPU. Grab all of the visual output from the T40 and throw it through this GPU over here. Another option to get video out of your T40 is to grab the virtual display driver from its mic, the tech. And once I installed it, the T40 pretty much just basically treated this display driver as if it was physically plugged into the T40. I and mean, some extra thoughts are I have installed it both using the virtual display driver and being passed through an ARC 380 and a R9290X and a 980 Ti. Um, the virtual display driver works the best. And then secondly, I would say passing it through a ARC A380 works second best, if you want to call it that. Um, there is some performance loss when passing through another GPU, but still you get enough performance that when you load up Apex or whatever game you want to play, you're getting well above 100 frames per second. So basically we are utilizing RT40 as if it's a RTX Titan, and we can really utilize it for anything, rather if that's DaVinci Resolve or game streaming, you can pretty much do anything with the GPU that you want to do now. So if you have any questions or if you really appreciated what we went over today, um, I would appreciate a like and follow, not just here, but across our other channels. And I will see you guys in the next video.